were at Helgen. You saw this dragon with your own eyes? It is as simple as it goes. Even if you never played Skyrim and only heard about it, you already know that Skyrim is a modding paradise. And if you modded Skyrim at least once, in a few months or years, but you will keep coming back. And for a good way to start, it's always easier to begin from the best mods released lately. Let's take a look at the most notable, original and well-made Skyrim mods of 2023 in today's showcase. Animations is such a hideously flawed part of Skyrim that it just cannot be improved enough. There is abundance of player animation mods on the stage, but what about creatures? Stux GR creature animations give new animations to many common and just notable enemies in the game. The Falmers, Trolls, Ricklings, Werewolves, Giants, Lurkers and even Frost Atronax. The issue with most of Skyrim enemies is they usually have just a couple or even single combat animation that you memorize after so many walkthroughs and fights with these enemies become predictable and boring. These mods add brand new combat animations to these enemies, surprise attacks and even a sort of attack combos, with everything closely matching their appearance and the fighting style. Disrespect the law and you disrespect me. The Deeper Well is a massive dungeon mod that extends the vanilla labyrinthian dungeon with the lore friendly but at the same time uniquely designed dungeon that, depending on your playstyle and character level, can give up to several hours of playtime. Not only it's large in a size, it also has plenty of vertical level design elements that are quite unusual for Skyrim. And while the mod uses mostly vanilla assets, it manages to achieve it giving you a different, intriguing feeling in both exploration and fights. Challenging enemy encounters and boss fights, a great combination of lore-friendly look and unusual level design approach, unique items and powers you can obtain, and the potential follower altogether giving an incredible dungeon experience. While the graphics, even a heavy modded one in all its beauty, is certainly not what many people are playing Skyrim for, it's always much more appealing to hunt for something like unique artifacts, when they actually look like that. GS Unique Utopia Rings overhauls the visual appearance of more than 20 unique Skyrim rings, with both unique, handmade, incredibly high-poly models and crisp HD textures, making each unique ring to actually stand out. Combine this with Reliquary of Myth, gameplay overhaul of Skyrim artifacts that gives these rings improved stats and actually unique abilities, and you will receive a perfect match worth to hunt for. The main issue with most of survival-oriented mods is their often unneeded complexity. While many players would love to add extra survival features to improve immersion, with many such mods installed, gameplay can become tedious more than it's immersive and realistic. The large complexity also often leads to bugs and compatibility issues with other mods. And that was the main reason why I personally uninstalled Hunterborn one day. Simple Hunting Overhaul is a hunting mod that puts your time and comfort first, while still remaining immersive. Skin the hunted animals in a single button press without any extra menus. Carry the carcasses on your shoulder with immersive animations, to then sell them to traders or blacksmiths, receive voice NPCs comments on your hunting skills, nothing over the top, but at the same time giving the better feeling of hunting roleplay. Mod also has logical adjustments and limitations, for instance you cannot carry a beer carcass on your shoulder as it's simply way too heavy, you cannot sell a skiver carcass to a blacksmith because he would have no use for it, and so on, everything as logical as it should be. 
Skyrim is being a dozen years old, and mod authors are still finding and fixing major bugs and providing performance improvements. Stability and bug fixing mods are often overlooked and underevaluated. So here we go with the two most notable releases this year. Did you know that there are conditions when dual casted spells are simply being seen as the regular ones? It is hard to notice in the midst of a combat, so that's why this bug was unseen for years, and dual casting fix corrects that. The Disk Cache Enabler mod is absolutely essential for everyone who has Skyrim on HDD rather than SSD. While it most likely will not provide notable performance boost on the SSD, when used on the hard drive, you can see a notable FPS boost in some places, but most importantly, loading screens becoming up to three times faster. Here we go with another on paper, simple but aesthetically amazing animation mod. Skill-based dynamic animations makes it so animations for both the player and the NPCs will be different based on the character's skill or race. For instance, when sneaking and your skill is below 50, your character will use the default animations. With sneak above 50 but below 75, animations will improve, become more fluid and more sneaky visually. And with the sneak above 75, the ultimate sneaking animations will be used. And here is what's even better. While the mod provides some of the animations pre-packed, the usually third animation will be used from your mod setup, aka using the whatever related animation you have installed. This allows additional layer of customization up to your taste. Currently, mod covers sneaking, spellcasting and archery animations, with more to come in the future. Falmers are making nearly half of all enemies in Dreamer Ruins and a generally notable portions of all enemies in the game. One thing is to just improve the Vanilla texture, and another is to make such an incredible transformation as Falmer Overhaul does. Not only the mod provides insanely good new textures, it also completely remodels all kinds of Falmers, giving them the look they should always have. The structure of bodies, limbs and muscles, the tiniest details on skin look, the tone, the pores, the shading… All together it makes Falmers truly creepy underground creatures they are, and distinct enemies to fight, especially when paired with the creature animation mods already showcased. It is time for the three finalists. Honestly, it is hard to practically determine the place for each because all three mods are absolutely different in type, but absolutely incredible as well. So I am leaving this to your personal judgment. I might just be a servant among lords, but don't think for a moment I don't take my duties as seriously as the Jarl himself takes his. All this standing around is rubbish. We should be taken to fight to the Stormcloaks. So you're probably wondering about those short slides between mod showcase today. Ah, Skuma. The moon sugar, the cosmic ale, the peel of Magnus wisdom. Skyrim on Skuma may look like a joke mod at the first glance, but hey, Skuma itself exists in the Elder Scrolls lore since forever. So it's not the mod's fault, it was never actually represented in gameplay, aside from the static drug bottle. The mod turned Skuma into a proper recreational substance, with, attention, 69 possible unique trip scenarios and over a thousand of slightly different variations of those. Now the most popular and powerful drug in Temriel will actually behave like one, and citing the author, basically making you trip in balls. Each time you are consuming skooma, you have a chance to experience one of many trips, being from a slight one, like a distorted vision, 
up to straight up absolutely crazy stuff. See the weird things, experience an assassination attempt by a cannibal mudcrab chef, feel the urge to dance to the dagger wave, ride a majestic rainbow god, turn into a someone else or something else like become a rock and think about the universe and even travel to a different dimension. Is it all just inside your head or… well, it is for you to choose. The vast majority of animation mods are only affecting third-person gameplay, and every time a decent first-person animation mod is released, it's already a holiday. Actually, two years ago, such a mod called First-Person Combat Animation Overhaul was featured in my video. Now imagine if there is a complete first-person animation overhaul that covers not only weapon attacks, blocking and idols, but actually nearly everything. Not only combat animations and not only weapons. And when I'm saying everything, I mean it. One-handed swords, daggers, axes and maces, as well as their two-handed counterparts and dual wielding options, covering all animations possible swings, power attacks, blocking, bashing, equipping, recoil, idols, but also walking, running, sprinting, jumping and even directional swimming animations with weapon equipped. And that's not all though. The mod also covers spellcasting, regular and dual, fire and forget, concentration, self-targeted, master spells, some of unique spells, equipping them, as well as all kind of movement animations with spell in your hands. It even provides unique, close styled unarmed attack animations and idols for Khajiits and Argonians. Every animation type provided is modular and can be chosen or discarded in the mod installer. The ultimate first person animation overhaul is real, here and now. They are openly recruiting. Well, as openly as a group of necromancers can recruit. I expect they'll want you to prove yourself worthy in some way. Whatever it is, I recommend you just do it. Sometimes it is necessary to sacrifice your morals for the greater good. Once there, hopefully you will be invited to join them and given the location of their hideout. Once you're inside, it's all up to you. Do whatever you can to find out what they are planning, but let me be clear, this is not a purging mission. I expect you'll find them more useful alive. And that being said, if you are compromised, I expect you to do what you must. The Thalmor talk of holding such great power. They wouldn't know true power if it crawled up their ass. They came to realize that there is strength in numbers, and we slipped ourselves in along the way. We sit comfortably, knowing that all who trifle with us will meet the full extent of the Alliance's power. If one is to understand true benevolence, one must explore all aspects of life. For this, I have no fear of the Dark Daedra. What price and what crime is enough to pay for the greater good and what is the greater good to begin with? This question Meridia's Order quest mod asks you throughout the storyline. Meridia's Order is a large quest mod that allows you to expand Meridia's previously almost non-existent presence in Skyrim, which is basically limited to a few lore records and a downbreaker quest that is nothing but a dungeon clearing that you can do in like 10 minutes. Work with Meridia's Order of Paladins and Scholars to destroy a growing threat of necromantic tyranny in Skyrim and to stop incredibly powerful legendary beings to get unleashed into Tamriel with the hordes of undead on top. Initially looking like an honorable, straightforward mission about purging the evil, the mod surprisingly quickly introduces you the complicated process of doing so, in terms of the morals. In order to destroy your enemies, you must first learn them, and on this path, hanging between the Paladin Order and the Necromancer's Cult, you are constantly forced to make choices that involve deeds which are often far beyond, or rather below, the dogmas the Noble Order of Paladins believes in. Featuring, in most of cases, absolutely incredible voice acting and non-linear options to go through nearly every quest, and respectively bear the burden of consequences, Meridia's Order gives a story about the shades of grey between the good and the evil and fits seamlessly into the game, being something that Meridia and Necromancer's part of the game should always have been. 
That's it folks. Thanks for watching and I hope you found a few mods for the never-ending modded setup. Make sure to check out my modding guide that just received a new update where you can find gazillions of more amazing mods for your personal taste. Smack that bell button and join our Discord to always stay in touch about new videos and projects. And if you want to support my work, my Patreon, buy me a coffee and some other links are down below in the video description. Stay tuned, stay safe and stay happy. Simitar here, signing out.